We are in Active Directory on a Windows 2016 server, although this will work on other versions as well. And if we go to the Server Manager Tools menu and open up Group Policy Management, we can go ahead and make changes, of course, to any of our group policy objects or even create a new one. However, let's say we want to apply these objects so it, it gets pushed out to the user right away. Well, there's a command to do that without actually being on the computer itself. So we can go into PowerShell. So let's go ahead and type in PowerShell here. So we cut over to PowerShell. And now we just need to go ahead and type in a command. We'll start out with invoke. And we'll use the hash. And then we'll do gp update. Then we want to put in the computer name. So we put in computer followed by the name itself like that. And you click enter. Now, if we get an error, it could be because of a firewall issue on the client side. So it is possible you can either disable the firewall altogether or you can go ahead and open up the ports needed in order to allow that traffic in. We've logged into a Windows 10 client and let's go ahead and open up our control panel and get into the firewall so we can make some changes here. Scroll down to where it says Windows Firewall and we'll go ahead and use recommended settings to start with. Now we'll click on advanced settings and we're going to want to edit the inbound rules. So let's go ahead and scroll down. We want to edit uh, where it says remote scheduled tasks. So let's go ahead and go down there. It's all alphabetical, so you can you know, go and type the letter R to get down there sooner. So we'll go down to where it says remote scheduled tasks. And we need to expand this a little bit, make sure we're getting the right thing. And we want to go to where it says RPC and choose enable. We also want to choose the RPC EP map and choose enable. Now, if you see more than one of these, go ahead and enable all of them. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So now we want to go down to where it says Windows Management Instrumentation, and we want to enable the WMI in rule. So let's go ahead and enable that. And if you see more than one, we'll do that one as well. All right, let's switch back to our domain controller and we will we'll attempt the update again and we'll see if that works. Then we'll go ahead and go back into our domain controller, type the same command again, hit enter, and now it works. And this basically means we forced a group policy update from our domain controller onto our client. So we don't, don't actually have to run the GP update command directly on the client itself. So uh, you could also run this on a group of computers as well. It doesn't have to be just on an individual computer. Remotely forcing the group policy update works on 2012, 2016, as well as 2019.